Closer right. round. Keep, just keep walking him down, yeah? Mm -hmm. just, you don't want to know, yeah? So just keep walking him down. Look, we need to make some move. Just step back and then throw the right hand straight down the line. Okay, Brian Lawrence. Just, make move for you. just step back and throw the right hand straight down the line. in recent yeah. times for uh, helping so Ian Napper back come back to the fold the after uh, a few years out. This is a, a little bit of success way we managed to get turn Campbell against the ropes, drilled him to the body with one, two, three, four shots. And that, that that's that little bit of uh, experience that, that swaby has got to just try and miss foot Campbell and, and get him falling into the ropes. Not much in punches thrown, all really landed, a few more from Campbell. On paper it always looked a tough night though. For the Londoner. Campbell's making an easier job than expected. Third round of the four sprint distance. And it's Damien Campbell in the black trunks. Just looking to try and establish that long jab. He's got a good reach. Just lost out to David Price and Tyson Fury in the ABAs. Trying to get that going now, hasn't he? Maybe, maybe that's what spurred him on to turn professional as well. He sees Price and Fury starting to make waves in the professional scene. It is late to be starting out at 34. It might not be too late though, because heavyweights do mature as the years go by. Bone Crusher Smith turned pro at 27 years old, ended up being a world heavyweight champion. So yeah, it's not. It's not too late. Yeah, he wasn't bad, was he? Again, <laughs> yeah, trying to pop the jab out, Campbell. Now starting to use that reach as well, slipping it through the guard with Swaby, using the full length of the, of the jab, where the first two rounds he was, he was not stretching out that much. Swaby has been stopped nine times through his career. But he really was a cruiserweight. That's when he was at his best. At a heavyweight, well, four times he's lost in the last six. Still got that amateur look about it, Campbell, as he needs to shake that eventually. Shoulders tight. Coming forward in straight lines. Expect a four-shot combination when he gets the shots off and steps off. He needs to get a bit cute with what he's doing. Trying to beat each other to the punch. The right hand of Campbell, the left of Swaby. I mean, not only is Lee Swaby so experienced, he's been a pro since 1997, but he's also a southpaw, Johnny. That's right, a nightmare, complete nightmare if you don't know what you're doing. Quite a surprising first match but maybe they just want to get a move on with this guy Damian Campbell and a left hand from Swaby best punch of the fight from that Lincoln Southport that awkward stance that's right Campbell looking to walk straight through it Swaby has caught Campbell at least once each round so far with that left hand gets his shoulders moving Campbell tries to march Swaby down has to be careful of just that one shot that might come back at him. 11 knockouts in his 25 win, Swaby. And one or two of us fancied him when he entered the prize fighter tournament a couple of years ago, Lee Swaby. Got to the semis that night. Still a danger. Come on, man. We've got to dog out this last round. Stay on top of him. Be busy, yeah? Okay. Don't give him time to rest, man. A little, little step back here. When he's going to throw a shot, a little step back and come straight down and pull up with the right hand. Okay. Every time he's going to throw a shot, just step back, bang, come back with the right hand. You don't want to knock. Well, Brian Lawrence saying he's got to go out there. I mean, that was a closer round again. It's just getting close as it rolls on, and then, and, and, and that is uh, probably the most powerful shot Swaby's managed to land on him. Now figuring out I can catch him with this, as long as he doesn't get a little bit gung-ho and constantly, you know, making it obvious that left hand he's trying to throw. He's ahead on the statistics, Campbell. I'm sure he's winning the fight. Is he shining? Tough to do against a guy like Swaby on your debut. Yeah, and I'm not seeing much upper body movement from Campbell, but maybe he knows he's a lot stronger than, than Swaby. He can, he can walk him down. Out he comes. 
Plenty of enthusiasm trying to get the punches off. Damian Campbell. Is he another of Frank Maloney's heavyweight finds? You've given him every single round, but that doesn't tell you in the third he was caught by one of those lefts from Swaby. That's right, Swaby just didn't follow it, in, follow it up enough or believe in it enough. Got into the mode of, of, of being a loser now, Swaby. <laughs> but hoping for a little bit of luck as the fights roll on. Last Friday in Essex, we... Uh, Saw Tyson Fury beat John McDermott. We also saw Larry Olabamiwo, Tom Dallas, and David Price all do out. And here comes Damian Campbell. That was a good little burst. And Swaby felt one or two of those best yet from the Londoner. He needed to give himself a little more space to get success off that burst. Crowd at his work was hooking him in instead of bringing him up into uppercuts. It's at that point where you've got to try and stay cool and look for your opening. Stay calm and then pick your opening. Really trying to plant that right hand, Campbell. I mean, we can't learn much about punch power really against Swaby. It's, it's a difficult one to gauge, but what are you impressed with about Campbell? I like his, his, his attitude. He's, from the off, he's not being on the back foot. He's tried to walk Swaby down. And remember, Swaby's got, had 52 professional fights. This is Campbell's pro debut, so he's showing supreme confidence to get him with a fighter like Swaby. And it could have been a gamble that backfired. Might still do, over a minute to go, but it looks like Campbell well and truly on top. As I said, it's a gamble I wouldn't have taken. But then again, that's why I'm not a promoter. <laughs> or a matchmaker. <laughs> or a matchmaker. Yes, we'll be holding on. I'm sure he'll want to go the distance. What will Campbell have learnt in there that he, he didn't learn in sparring? with well, all those good fighters. Well, first of all, I think he needed to get this one out of the way. He decided to, to make that big leap as a professional, uh, getting in with somebody like Swerby, who's mixed it with a lot of decent fighters as a, a, as a sparring partner and, as a, and an opponent. I think it's about confidence for him. Yep, Swerby now being in with them all, really. Certainly the modern boys. Chisora, Fury. Chris Burton, David Dolan, all sorts. Personable guy, Lee Swaby. Good to have around on the scene. Not sure how much longer he'll want to carry on. But for Damian Campbell, it is a successful professional debut. And Michael Alexander wants a fighter himself. The referee holds Campbell's hand aloft. That's the first one done, the monkey off the back, and a good name. <laughs> yeah, a good name. I think it was very, very, very good win for, for Campbell. There were things I'd work on when he got to the gym. I'd work on his inside work. Look at the amount of punches he threw, landed a success rate. So basically, sometimes he covered his own work and crowded and didn't get the, the maximum power out of it. He needs to step back, give himself a little bit of space, and then we can see some power from the punch. He is 34. So we will see how quickly they decide to move Damian Campbell from his first match. It looks like they're in a hurry. Well done to the Londoner. Damian, how do you, how did you oh, find that in there tonight, yeah. considering it's your heavyweight debut? Nice, it was nice, you know, I got some of the rust off, getting boxed for over a year. But yeah, I enjoyed it. Uh, Brian gave me great coaching tips in the corner. She was trying to get it done, you know, but it's, just, it's nice, nice, nice learning curve. Did you feel any rust or anything like that in there? Initially, yeah, initially I did when I try and land, land the jab and stuff, but I haven't boxed for over a year, so that's to be expected, you know? As the fight progressed, I found like it was more fluid, more fluid like punches were coming off, and yeah, I'm happy with the result. What do you think you learned in there tonight? Um, I learned obviously fighting the southpaw, I haven't fought a southpaw before. Um, I learned that you can't knock everybody out. I learned, I learned lots, lots of things. No, we've got a lot of things to go about. Yeah, yeah, well, uh, Obviously, go and view it and take from no, there, you know. Like that. Mm -hmm. I'm happy with the win, I'm happy with the win. Uh, yes, and from a personal point of view, you, would you rather fight, you know, named, fight, named domestic fighters like that, someone that Tom Dallas fought in his last fight, you're stepping up in your first fight and fighting him, you know, in your debut? I don't mind anybody, really, anybody. Anybody. And how did you feel uh, fitness wise over the four rounds? Yeah, fine. Did, was, fine. It, was it hot in there? It wasn't all hot, but we've been lots of, lots of sparring. I mean, normally I'd have been tired on the four. I felt okay, you know. That wasn't a factor at all, I was trying to get my shots off. Try and land accurately as well.
and learn as well, of course, being the first fight as well. Chances are you'll have a little bit of a break now because of the summer break that boxing will have, but I can see Brian shaking his head there, you'll be straight back in the gym. Yeah, I'm in the gym. Yeah, straight I'm in the gym. back in the gym, in there, London. Yeah, yeah, back in the gym. There's no break. That's my, that's, for winning his debut, that's our price, that's our little present for him, back in the gym on Monday. No, there's no break. There's no break for him. Yeah, I don't need no break. No time, no time for breaks. No time for breaks. We're on, we're on a crash course. <laughs> <laughs> and in terms of getting straight back in there, you'll be looking to get straight back straight in the ring. Straight back in. Yeah, most definitely.